switch gears to now matters BBI. This is a document which was, since it was launched, it was meant to really unite the country. But ever since that day it was launched on the November the 27th, there has been some divisive talk in the country surrounding the document. From your observation, what's your perspective? When you listen to the leaders talk, the, the comments being made about the document, factions being, factions being there in the country about the document, What's your observation? First let of all, do you support let the document? Face, let us face the truth. Before BBI, the country was divided into two groups. Are we together? There was NASA here, led by Raila, deputized by Kalonzo. Mudabadi was in, Wetangula was in, and uh, caused, and everybody was there. On the other side, it was Jubilee, led by Uru, deputized by uh, by Ruto. Then you found other leaders from all those regions there. Today, after BBI, and if we are truthful, let Kenyans agree with what I'm saying, and also you agree with what I'm saying, that now we are divided into four sections. Before it was only two. You could say that is Jubilee, and that is NASA. Today, after BBI was born, Jubilee is divided into two. Am I right or not? NASA is divided into four. Raila is alone with his team. Kalonzo is alone with his team. Mudavadi is alone with his team. Wetangula is alone with his team. And now, if you take the division of Jubilee, of two groups, you add four, that is six. Those are six camps that were born and brought about by the formation of BBI. So anybody who is saying that BBI is there to unite Kenyans is not telling Kenyans the truth. Because first of all, even to bring these six functions together, it is a tall task. If two could not be brought together before, Jubilee and NASA, now you have six. The country is more divided than ever before. So if you ask me, BBI is not bringing Kenyans together, but is dividing Kenyans more. So you don't support it. Number two. The issues being raised to be the important issues now to be worked on by BBI to make sure that Kenyans are united. <laughs> One of them is amending the constitution. We saw the document. May I want one Kenyan to tell me, other than the Prime Minister's position and the Deputy, what else was new in that document which is not in the constitution of 2010? which I worked on to pass it when I was the government chief whip and on the 10th parliament. The rest of the things are in the constitution. So the money we are spending outside there to sell this document should be utilized. It should be utilized to help your poor Kenyans who are suffering from different uh, issues and problems. And now I ask you, I listened to President Uhuru Kenyatta the other day saying, um, we are going into a situation whereby the winner will not take everything. So there will be the winner and losers also being incorporated in the leadership. Now, we have, and this is a serious issue, and truly, I want those who are spearheading the BB High issue. To answer my question, which I'm raising here today, we have 45 communities in this country. The seats and positions we are creating are only two. Two. Prime Minister and Deputy Pre uh, Prime Minister. Assuming now these seats are given in, by the amendment that we are proposing, excuse me, and then we have the President, the Deputy President here, two seats. We have the 
We have the we have the, the, the prime minister and the deputy president there, uh, a prime minister there, two seats, those are four. Then if you take the majority majority leader's position, five. Take speak of the National Assembly, six. Other positions are approved by Kenyans through parliament. Chief Justice, say what? Where are we accommodating 45 communities here? And I want to be candid and say this. If this is being done, my Mudama's position is that this is just to take care of the five big communities in Kenya. Namely, Kikuyus, Luos, Kambas, Kalenjins, and Luyas. Now you think by dishing out those five or six positions to those communities, you have silenced Kenyans. No! You have left outside there now 40 tribes or communities without a position. How will this now unite Kenyans? There is something which Kenyans are not being taught about. It. There is the truth that has never come out. What we need in this country is not amending the constitution. My brother, what we need here is obeying the law. Is obeying the law and lead according to what the constitution says. Business done. The president has been very vocal about this document. He, he continues to drum up support for it. Your wife, leader, Kalonzo Musioka, has also exhibited some level of supporting the document. So from what I'm getting, number one, you don't support the document in its entirety because my, there are issues, my democratic right. which is okay. So that means you don't even support... Is there a possibility of a referendum for you? Do you... Looking at this document, I may be counted out of it. Me, as Mudama now. And then now, when I speak, I will send a message that I will expect to convince other Kenyans that we are not going in the right direction. 2008, when there was uh, chaos in the country, it took parliament to amend the constitution and create three positions, prime minister and two deputies. If this is what we are looking for, why can't we just do it through parliament? I don't understand this. And now, some people are saying, don't take it to parliament. Take it one inch. Because in parliament, parliament is going to be biased. Now, the people who are saying that, they are saying with the authority that they have been given by Mwanainchi. The mandate they are using to speak like that is through the... the president is speaking through the mandate he was given by Mwanainchi. Why do you disrespect an MCA with a small number of electorate or a member of, or member of parliament from a different uh, certain constituents? who was given that mandate by Kenyans to speak and lead them. So that must be respected. There is no one who is more valuable than the other one when it comes to people's choices. It doesn't matter how many votes you were chosen with. You may get 500,000 votes to win your parliamentary seat, and I may win mine with 2,500, but still I represent a constituency with people, and I deserve that respect. So in your own view at the same time, these regional political meetings which are happening in the country, like for instance, the one which is coming up on Saturday in Kakamega, is a waste of public funds? 101% is a waste of public funds. It's a waste of public funds. We don't need those meetings. We need, is it the Prime Minister's position? But now, the question is this. If we cannot manage our country and cut down on the cost of running the government in this country with just the president's office being one, deputy one, then the cabinet ministers. Now, what about if we create now another office there which is equivalent to the president's office? Double expenditure. So you don't cut down your cost by increasing your expenses. You can only cut down by reducing your expenses. And that is the way. So there is no way that can help people. No way.